Hey guys, it's Key. I hope you're all well. Now this is a follow-up video to my full Android TV 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4 video, where I showed you the capabilities of the Raspberry Pi 4 with Android TV 10 and the full Google Play Store, all thanks to Kongstakang.com. Now, since that video, I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial of how to actually install this onto your Raspberry Pi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a fully working Android TV 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So the first thing we need to do is head on over to constakang.com. I've left a link in the description. And download his version of Lineage OS 17.1 Android TV for the Raspberry Pi 4, which by the way is equivalent to Android 10. Once you've clicked on the link, scroll down to the download section and click on the link again. This should take you to the Filehost website, just simply click on the download link. Now if you go back to the main Android 17.1 page and scroll down until you get to the recovery to boot zip file, click on the download and download a copy of this. We're going to use this to boot out of recovery mode on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now once you have a copy of this, transfer this to a USB drive. We'll need to access this on our Raspberry Pi later. Next we need to go over to the SourceForge website and download a copy of the gapps. I've left a link in the description below. Now we also need to transfer a copy of this to the USB drive. Now, back on our computer, we're going to write that Android TV image onto an SD card. I'm using Belina Etcher. Just navigate to where you downloaded the image and select it and press OK. And then select where you want to write the image and in this case, it's the SD card. And finally, click on Flash. And it should begin writing this to your card. Once it's done, take the SD card and insert it into your Raspberry Pi 4 and boot up. Now, do remember to have your USB drive inserted with your other two files. Now, once you get to this screen, just work your way through, click on Next and click on Accept. Select your language and click on next. Again, select date and time and click on next. For location services, I clicked on next and another click on next and then click on skip and then finally start. So what we've got here now is Android TV 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is great, but we're missing one thing and that's the Google Play Store. So in the next few steps, I'm going to show you how to get Google Play Store. So head on over to the settings cog and scroll down to device preferences. And from here, click on about and scroll down to build. Clicking on this seven times should unlock the developer menu. You can see it's counting down as I click on it. And there we go, I've enabled developer settings. Now go back to device preferences and you should see the developer menu there. Select it and then scroll down until you get to root access and enable this. And click on the OK for root access. Next scroll down until you find local terminal and make sure you've got this enabled. Now head on over to your main home screen and select your apps and you should see terminal there. Select this and then click on allow. Now type su and press the return. And then type rpi4 hyphen recovery.sh. Press return and then type reboot and enter. Now from here you should reboot into Teamwin. Now click and swipe to allow modifications and you'll come to the main window. From here click on install and click on select storage and select USB OTG, which is your USB drive. And you should see the other two files you downloaded. Select the open gapp zip file. This is going to allow us to install the Google Play Store. And then just swipe to confirm the flash. Now just sit back and wait for the installation to complete. Now once it's complete, click on the wipe Dalvik. And then just swipe to wipe. Once that's done, click on the arrows icon at the top and it'll take you back to the main menu. Now from here we need to select wipe and swipe to factory reset. Now again, click on the arrows icon on the top left corner. From here, we need to go down and select mount and make sure you tick boot and system. Then head on over back to the main menu. Now from here, select install and we need to select the Lineage RPI recovery to boot zip file. This will allow us to boot back from recovery to Android TV. And as usual, swipe to confirm flash. Now once that's done running, click on reboot. And eventually you will reboot back into Lineage Android TV. So like before, we need to go through and set up the system. So we have done this before, so I'm going to speed this up. Now, because we have Google Apps, we've got to do the whole proper Google setup. Now, I'm sure all you guys know how to set up an Android device. It's basically following the on-screen instructions, so I'm going to speed this up. Now, here I'm using my phone to log into my Google account. And that's it, guys. The installation is complete. Now, straight away, you'll see there's a lot more going on in the home screen. And that's because we have Google Apps installed. So if we click on apps, you'll see the Google App Store there. Now I was able to log into YouTube and it worked perfectly. I also was able to log into Amazon Prime, but I was unable to play any media. There's still a lot more exploring to be done with this system. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please do let me know how you get on in the comments below. If you need any help, let me know also in the comments. And as always, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.